right, so I'm going to do this eye look for you guys just so you can see how the eyeshadows perform. I don't have foundation on or my eyebrows on because I am going to do a foundation review right after this. Um, I usually like to do my foundation and my eyebrows and then do my eye makeup. Um, so the first shade I want to take is called Bella Cappuccino and this is a satin matte finish and I'm just going to take this brush by Coastal Scents and it's very similar to the Sigma um, blending brush. So I'm just going to take this as my transition color. Now when I dip my brush into this shade, I do get some, a little bit of, you see all that powder? It, it does kick up a lot of powder, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to take this and just apply it into the crease as my transition shade. So it's a really great, I think, transition color. Gonna put a little bit more. I'm getting really hungry, guys. I didn't eat breakfast yet. So I'm not doing this like really. So next I'm gonna take this color called Bella Champagne. Look how beautiful that is. So first I applied it dry, which I will show you right now. I'm gonna apply it dry just with a little flat shader brush. So that's what it looks like dry. I wanted it more intense than it comes off. So what I did is I took my wet wipe. This is just a Kirkland wet wipe. This is my technique for wetting my brush and using eyeshadows wet. You can spray your brush with a Fix Plus or whatever you like to use. So I just wet my brush and then I dab it into the eyeshadow. So then I went into the shadow wet and it's definitely much more pigmented wet as you can see. It gives way more color payoff and looks more metallic-y, shimmery. And I don't remember if I told you the finish of this. This is a shimmer finish eyeshadow. So that is what it looks like wet. So then I took this eyeshadow. This is Bella Rouge. This is a beautiful shade, one of the ones I was most excited about. I'm gonna take this kind of flat shader brush. It comes to an angle, but it's the only one that's kind of clean right now. So I'm gonna take this eyeshadow dry and apply it to the rest of the eyelid. And the finish of this one is metallic. So as you can see, it's not that intense, to be honest, when it's applied dry. So I was kind of disappointed in that. Um, so I decided to go in with this one wet. So again, I'm just going to wet my brush with my wet wipe and take the brush into the eyeshadow and then apply it onto the lid. And as you can see, it's much more intense when it's applied wet. And I also think these would apply probably better if you use like a sticky eyeshadow base, like a NYX Jumbo eyeshadow pencil or something like that. Milani has some Jumbo pencils. Jordana has some. Um, I think if you apply that first, then this will really have something to stick, stick to, so it would be more intense that way as well. So, not the greatest payoff alone, just with the eyeshadow primer. Alright, so that is what that looks like. So I'm going to go back in with Bella Champagne and just kind of touch that up and bring it in a little bit so that the two colors blend. Just like that. So I'm going to go back in with my transition shade and just blend that out. So next I'm going in with this shade. It's called Bella Bronze. I'm going to take this Sigma. This is the Sigma Blending E36. And I'm going to take this shade just to deepen up the outer corner a little bit. So I feel like it's the same with this. Like this is a metallic finish and I just feel like it would be a best applied wet, but I don't really want to apply a wet shadow on my outer V, so I'm just going to leave this one dry for now. I mean, it is deepening up the outer corner, but I feel like for a metallic shadow, you know, this should be more intense. So definitely I feel like these work best wet, just my overall experience so far. 
So that is dry. Then I'm going to go back in with my blending shade and just touch that up a little bit. See, it still deepened up the outer corner is what I wanted, but I don't feel like it looks metallic. Like it looks so much more metallic swiped on my finger and it would as well if you applied it wet. So, so I'm going to take a Bella Purple. This is a satin matte finish and I'm going to take this little e.l.f. brush. This is the e.l.f. contour brush for your eyes. And I'm just going to apply that right on the lower lashes. And I wanted to kind of incorporate a few different shades in here just to really get an overall feel of how the eyeshadows perform. And I always have a hard time doing this on camera, so it probably looks really messy. Just blend it a little bit with my finger. I think I smoked it out a little bit more than the other side, so... So I really wanted to use the black, which is called Bella Black. It's a satin matte finish. It was super pigmented when I swatched it on my finger. So I'm actually going to take this Sigma Eyeliner E05 brush. This is like a travel size one. And I'm just going to apply this as my eyeliner. I didn't really want to apply it on the outer corner to make it too dramatic. Um, so I'm just going to use this as eyeliner. And I thought it applied really well as an eyeliner. It makes it really easy using this brush with an eyeshadow to use as eyeliner. Just, it's just very easy and simple. I love using eyeshadow as eyeliner because it's not as harsh as actual eyeliner. Like if I used a black eyeliner today, it would be pretty. The eyes would be pretty dramatic, like even more than they are now. So there's that. I'm just gonna get this brush. I guess I need to buy like one of these type of brushes, like a squared off one, but a bigger one because this one's a little small. But I'm gonna use this um, just to dab it right along the lower lashes, just to deepen it up a little bit. And what I need to do is hold my mirror up so I can actually be in frame when I do this. Um, so next I want to take a fluffy brush. This is my Equal Tools. This is the concealer brush and I love using this for blending. So I'm just going to take this and blend the upper edges. So I finished putting on the rest of my makeup and now I just want to put um, a brow bone highlight and an inner tear duct color. So I'm going to take this one. This is called Bella Ivory and this is a little flat shader brush. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to apply it right as my brow bone highlight. This is a satin matte finish so it has a slight sheen to it. I don't know if you can see that. So just blend it in with the crease color. So oh yeah, see it makes, gives it a little pop there. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And I'm just going to use the same brush to apply a little bit in the inner tear duct. Brighten up the inner portion of the eyes a little bit there. Alright, so we are done with the eyes. I actually really like the way they turned out, actually. I think it looks really pretty. So yeah, those are the eyes. 